Hey guys, Brad here with Twisted Out Brewery. Today I'm about to do my least favorite thing to do in a brew house, and that's keg cleaning. Not that it's hard or difficult, but it's definitely time consuming and monotonous, and you're stuck at the station and just doing nothing but cleaning cakes. It's kind of boring. Uh, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you, you know, how we do this. We built our own custom cake washing machine when we first opened, and uh, so far it's worked really well. Like we've uh, We've been using it for a couple of years now. We've never had an issue with it. Um, it was something we did. We had a, a limited budget. I did a lot of research on, on how they worked and the cake cleaning process. And um, I figured out a way to kind of build this unit. So I wanted to take this time to show you guys how I did it. And uh, here it is. Okay, here we go. This is the back of our keg washing machine. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have our pump down here. What I did is I found this stainless steel, it's actually a lawn sprinkler pump, but it's got a stainless steel head in it and it's very powerful and it worked great for this application. I was able to uh, find adapters and I decided I wanted to go with tri-clamp fittings. So, you know, it'd be more universal and uh, I, it would have probably been cheaper if I would have used like the pipe thread and threaded fittings and everything, but I wanted to be able to interchange some parts and um, I decided to go with the, the tri-clamp system here. So um, you can see it goes from the pump right into a check valve. Then it comes up into a T here. So the T branches off over here. Uh, this is our uh, injection pump for our acid pump. And it also has our air and CO2 lines hooked to it. All these have check valves built in. And then there's another check valve on the end here. And then it goes into another T, and this is our hot and our cold water inlet. Then on the far back side over here, there's another T. And this one is uh, where we're gonna branch off to our actual keg couplers. And I'll show you that um, on top here in a second. Um, down here, this is basically uh, what I use for my acid container. It's just a nice plastic container here. Uh, we pre-measure out some parasitic acid and uh, our dosing pump will, you know, dose this uh, according to how much we need. And for my caustic tank here, or you could use whatever you want, PBW, uh, some people use different stuff. Uh, but this is basically my old homebrew kettle. It's a 15 gallon kettle. We use about 10 gallons of product when we uh, when we run this machine so it works perfect now as we come around here this is uh, some more ball valves that I installed uh, you can see there's some other T fittings going on here basically uh, when I open uh, this valve it'll actually direct and send the waste down the drain and then you can close this valve and we open this valve it'll recirculate the caustic so that's the, the waste control valves. And like I said, this is all manual. It's all moving valves and levers. Over here, this is where I have my uh, air compressor line coming in. Uh, I have it hooked up to a uh, water filter here. And then I have my CO2 line coming in. All these have their own valves, so I can open and close these as I need it. And then over here, I got a couple sixtals loaded here on the table. And then the couplers are right underneath. These are basic uh, Sankey keg couplers that I've just modified, added some uh, threaded fittings there with some hoses, and these all tie in. I also uh, added later on these gate valves. And these gate valves I actually got from Lowe's and they work fairly nice. Didn't really necessarily need them, but it does make it a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. And then for the pump, I actually hooked up a foot pedal switch so that I could just stand there and uh, push the foot pedal whenever I need the caustic. I got uh, valves on my hot and cold water line as well. And uh, this is what I use for my acid dosing pump. And it actually works out pretty good. I was kind of looking online trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, inject the um, parasitic acid in there to sanitize the kegs. And I found this pump and uh, just ran with it and it actually works pretty good. So uh, you can dial this in and make it a little uh, faster, a little stronger. What I did is I kind of pre-mix my, uh, my parasitic acid down to where it's not so concentrated and then I run my pump full blast and mix it with the, the cold water and it actually works quite well. So uh, the, the table is actually a stock stainless steel table I got from uh, Sam's Club. And then there's 
a uh, couple supports I had to add in in the middle there and I cut these notches out on the table I actually used a Rodman nibble a Rodman nibbler and also a uh, cutoff wheel and uh, grind it down nice and smooth and everything so that these will fit I got six tools loaded here but it easily does half barrels too so uh